Here. I believe Bashir is here. He came back from New York again. Happy Mother's Day! We got a busy day planned and I'm excited! Let's go! Now I know we all know what the word mother means, but I was curious to see what Wikipedia says. It says, a mother is the female parent of a child. A woman may be considered a mother by virtue of having given birth by raising a child who may or may not be her biological offspring, or by supplying her ovum for fertilization in the case of gestational surrogacy. A biological mother is the female genetic contributor to the creation of the infant through sexual intercourse or egg donation, etc. And then when I asked AI what is a mother, this is what pops up. Female parent, number one, Number two, woman in authority. Number three, source of origin. Number four, maternal tenderness. Number five, extreme example. Number six, fermentation. Yep. So regardless of what your definition of mother is, happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful women who have supported, nurtured, and loved you. It's Nana's car. So as you can see, Uncle Bashir is here. Can you believe it? He came back from New York a week later. Remember, he was here for Mariam's graduation just a week ago. We are definitely pleasantly surprised to have Bashir back, knowing how far New York is. Keep in mind, like I said before, he was here for graduation last week, and he's back again this week. You know how far it is to drive from um, New York to North Carolina? Anyway, he said he had to come because, of course, it is Mother's Day, and it's also Mariam's birthday. So, yes, Mariam was born on Mother's Day 22 years ago. Yep, 22 years ago, we used to live in New York City downtown, and I'm sure you recognize this bridge. This is the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> yeah, 22 years just flew by. Every time we go to New York City, we go by our old neighborhood. So this is where the mayor lives, I believe, or City Hall area. Yeah, this lot of less used to be the bookstore, Strand. And then, yeah, that's Gold Street. This is basically the street. And across the street, right there, this tall building is where we lived. We were on the 13th floor with two babies, or one baby. Yeah, one baby, and then by the time we had the second or third baby, then we got a bigger apartment on the second floor. Um, even though I preferred the view from the 13th floor, but the apartment on the second floor was bigger. The hospital was literally across the street from our apartment, and since I was a medical resident there, that's where Mariam was born, right there at New York Presbyterian. Back to the present, we've parked, and we're headed towards Cheesecake Factory. It's a rather windy day, but it's also nice and warm and sunny. It's gonna be busy. Everyone is out early. We thought we're out early. Everyone is out early. Yeah. Wow. What? What? Wow. We recognize you all from YouTube. Oh, say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty. 
we just met a subscriber. <laughs> she was standing, staring at mommy. I thought mommy knew her. So I'm like, hey. Walk around. So we're gonna go out into the mall. <laughs> nah, we can go out into the mall. Oh yeah. So we're outside of the Cheesecake Factory and into the mall. And once our table is ready, they will send a text to Kenton's phone and alert us. So in the meantime, we're just gonna hang out here. Did you see I ran into the mall? <laughs> what are you doing? You didn't see that? No, I didn't see that. I heard it. Oh, God. I heard you. Boom. <laughs> Anyway, these uh, I like stores like this for sure. Look at these little crafty toy stores. I really need to go into Sephora. I really need to, but that's a whole project because I am so out of my product. Let's walk past Michael Kors. Nope, not getting anything. <laughs> not interested. Uh, I like designer stuff, but not really a Michael Kors fan. and decolletage. <laughs> huh? I don't need to dress loud. This is linen. This is about the fabric. This is linen and cotton. Yeah. You do? Another bath and body. It looks like it's tired already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they've got like a table of free comics. I said to be sure they got free comics in there. No, them. No, they don't. You're lying. <laughs> All right, the pants are from. Where are the pants from? Are the pants Gucci boot? Are the shoes Gucci? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it even looks like big hair too. <laughs> that picture with Uncle Bashir is funny. <laughs> and look at Oma. I think I'm posing. Look at Grandma. Her hair, that was the shortest her hair was. And you posing. What is Uncle Bashir getting? <laughs> Kenton's ahead, the table's ready, so off we go. The mall is filling up now. Mother's Day specials. We got the text, our table is ready, and it's been under an hour, so that's cool. This is the entrance from the inside of the mall. Of course, the entrance from the outside is more elaborate. Everybody's still waiting out here. Yay! Mary, you want to go in? I'll, I'll go in this way. Yeah. 
One thing I love about the Cheesecake Factory is that even though we all have different tastes, the menu is such an extensive, wide selection that you'll find something you like. So whether you just want cheesecake and coffee, or whether you want a snack, whether you're gluten-free like I am, or whether you're vegan, whether you're on a diet, they have something for you, honestly. Did you get that from you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's from her African side, perhaps. No. What? Oh Often God. she did. Yes, I'm having fish and chips. This is a lemonade. Cucumber lemonade. It's interesting. It's different. Lemonade with uh, cucumber. That. I'm just thinking for oh, you can put it back? Okay. Yeah, they put that one in the cheese one there. Cool. And then the other Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I got medium rare, so the blood. Oh, really? Oh, that's enough for a week. Wow, that looks good. That looks good. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Where did Daddy get? What's that? Some, uh, the brunch, just jambalaya hash. Oh, Is that, oh that's the jambalaya. I was going to get that, but I checked. He... We got breakfast food. They say the most important thing is family and love, so I feel truly blessed to have both. Even though it was Mariam's birthday, she did not want any extra attention, no one singing, none of that, no cake, but... <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Here are some old pictures of the birthday girl. She was so cute. Well, they were all so cute. Here she is about two years old hiding behind the couch with some potato chips that she's stolen from the pantry. Even then, she knows she shouldn't be eating that stuff. <laughs> with her brother in our old house in Laurenburg. And then back when she used to let me paint her face, of course, she wouldn't let me do that now. I wonder what happened to that blue infinity scarf. Anyway, people love to ask me, why are your children so reserved? Why are they so serious? I don't know. Ask God. <laughs> he made us different. Please do. Also, we have one more hairstyle coming up. So please. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey there. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Thank you. Why is it so hard to get a picture? Because yeah, you look like you're trying to do the challenge where you bend backwards. It's not working. Because I won and you won. Yeah. So it's a tie. So what's the tiebreaker? Okay. One more tiebreaker. Okay. For the win! Do a tiebreaker. The end result didn't come out quite. So Miriam thinks she looks like an old lady, but we have to jazz you up a bit, okay? We have to she jazz you up. up. Stop! No, you have to jazz you up. Yeah, right now you are looking like Amish wife. Amish wife. Should have had 10 kids by now. <laughs> An old husband somewhere. <laughs> but um, I got to do her hair, do some makeup. I think we need to tuck in that blouse or a belt. That's what it's needing. That's it just so needs some style. Why can't I just put on pants? I mean, or you can wear jeans, you know, with that blouse and it would look pretty snazzy. Yeah, I agree. Jeans would probably look more like your age. Uh, How is that, Miriam? Thank you. It is 
so bright. It's so bright. <laughs> we were having this discussion at graduation how the weather was good. That was a lot of food. So we all had doggy bags and because it was warm, it would be obviously dangerous to leave food in the car. So we headed back home to Kenton and Habiba's place to drop off the food. And then we headed to the movies. So first drop off the food and then movies. Put in your purse. Food. <laughs> A little glasses from the China thing. The right. So after getting the tickets, we got some popcorn because how can you see a movie without popcorn? <laughs> no, but I got the non-salted or unsalted popcorn and everybody else got the salted popcorn with, of course, butter. Yeah, so in the movie theater, nice and cozy, and we got to see the Kingdom of Planet of the Apes. Not my kind of movie, but we're here because Mariam wanted to see this and it's her birthday. So, okay, let's see it. But yeah, the storyline for me just wasn't deep enough, but she was really into like the cinematography and all the technical stuff. Yeah, um, I prefer like a little bit romance or a different type of realistic action. But what matters is we're all together. I love that. I love that for me and for us. We're all together and we're happy. <laughs> we enjoy each other's company. We did have a minor issue though. There was this woman that I think was very off. Something wasn't right with her, if you know what I mean. And she kept walking back and forth. She couldn't find her seat. And she did this so many times. Anyway, she tripped and fell and spilt cheese sauce all over Kenton's shirt. Do you see those yellow blotches? And soda. So he wasn't very comfortable. Anyway, what did we think of the movie? It was okay. It was different. No, there's a picture. Yeah. Yeah. No, all right, Beba. From the fridge. Oh, put the light on your. Put the light on your phone. You what light? You know what I'm talking about. When it's dark, you can't see the screen. I can't. I don't know how. Be sure how to I know, right? I'm trying to see. Is this? Oh, uh, this is the fish and chips to go in. Oh, I thought. Oh, that's Nana's. Oh. Card? Nana's card? Yes, I got a card. Thank you, Kareem. <laughs> Who is it from? Uh, is it from everybody no, let me see. <laughs> She's not 53. Oh, nice. Yeah, but the idea is you've been a mother for 53 years. Oh, you get it? Right. <laughs> This one. Oh, Miriam. Oh, it's Miriam. I thought it was uh, her father. What a humor for a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home to rest and relax. Maybe you gotta wait for her tomorrow. Come on, let's let's go get your shirts. Go home. We need to buy the kids. So Uncle Bashir is driving Nana's car because he can't stand for her to drive. <laughs> and Kenton's taking Khalid back to his apartment. Say Anjuma. No, I'm seeing you before September. September is like in a couple months. No, I'm seeing you in before September. Maybe when he comes back next time I go back up with him. Oh really? 
the house is suddenly really quiet now. Everyone's gone. Mariam's still standing there watching. But anyway, so she and I are going to open her cards, or she's going to open her cards, and the gift her father and I gave her. I don't recognize that. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. What is wrong with you? I love these 3D cards. This is a Mother's Day card from the kids. It's the same card I got from their father last year. So funny. Ah, this is from Khalid. Mom, you're amazing at so many things, especially at being a mother. The last card was from Mariam and Kareem, and this one is from Khalid. There's no drugs in there, Mariam. <laughs> Hi, open it. What's the other one? Yeah. Uh, I believe this belongs to a brand called Nutrishika. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Gugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugugug
and some whipped cream. I'm surprised it held up. All right, let's taste it. Let's taste it for you. Just a small piece for you, okay? Open up. Mmm. Mmm. Literally like a mousse. It's a flourless, flourless, gluten free chocolate cake or chocolate cheesecake. And on that note, I'll see you later. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day.